So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing you how to install the full stroke IP diaphragms onto a two inch pump. You notice we have two shafts, the full stroke and the reduced stroke shaft. So the reduced stroke shaft is one we're going to use. It's a little shorter. So we drop that in, inner piston, IP diaphragm. Once it's in there, drop her straight down and we'll drop a liquid chamber on there. Right, so we got the liquid chamber on, get our clamp bands, drop it on there because we want to get these nice and tight so that we can tighten up the other side good. So side eight. Side B is on. We'll rotate it around so we can get her over. Okay, now we'll do the same thing to this side. This is where it gets tricky, because you notice once you want to put it on there, it's going to want to drag and you can't really get your hands in there to, uh, to tighten her up. So what we're going to do, so with the wedges, lift up side A, lift up side B, and what that does is that gives you enough room here, you can see, to get your hands under there. So you can grab that and tighten that up. You want to release all the drag so that when you tighten it, you're going to get your full torque on there. So you want to get about a good 75 uh, foot-pounds of torque on there. So it makes it a little tough. But once you get it as tight as you possibly can go, that's when you know you're there. Okay, we're good there. Okay. Option A was using the two wedges, right? Option B would to use the diaphragm inverter. So I just stuck this on the exhaust. What that's gonna do is evacuate the air from this side, which will cause that to actually just lift up. Now as you see, once it's lifted up, you come down around there, you can see now we can really grab it. So I got as tight as I could with the wedges, but without it, now I can really get the torque that we need on there. Once you're done, release the vacuum generator. It drops back down. You can put your other liquid chamber on there nice and easy now. So if we had to put side B on, we take that, drop it in, and you're good to go. If you're using two wedges, you use four wedges. So you get enough to get your hands under there. As you notice, by doing it that way, without the use of a vacuum generator, you get a big gap in there so you can get your hands in there really good and get that thing twisted. So that's as far as it'll go. If you want to loosen it, you can do the same thing. Just get it and go backwards to get that thing off. And you're good to go. That's for using four wedges. You remove those. After it's all tightened up, you can get your assembly in. It's as easy as that.